If you are creating tabs with Elementor, there are very limited things that you can do with the tabs. You can change the alignment. You can have the tab positions as horizontal or vertical. And there are very limited styling options which are available for creating tabs. Now for each of the tab content, you have very limited options like you can put a title for the tab. You could put some HTML code instead of the text and play around. If you would like to do some advanced things like having an accordion or a slider inside, what you need to do is to create a template and then put the code over here. But now with Elementor 3.10, this will be very much simplified. So let us check out. So I have just installed the Elementor free version and let us go to the settings. Go to experiments and here we need to do a small setting for the flex box container. So let us activate this and also activate the nested elements and save the changes. Now if we go to the pages and open our text page, say edit with Elementor and now if we search for tabs and drag and drop this element over here, you will immediately see that the tabs element is changed to a very nice looking element. So let us find out what new things we are getting here. So the tab 1, tab 2, tab 3 is the normal thing. The justify thing is pretty normal. And you can move the tabs or the buttons as per your requirement. The new thing here is about the directions. And here you have a choice to have the tabs either at the bottom, on the right, or on the left, or the normal view as the tabs on the top. So this is a fantastic feature and you can have the tabs position as per your requirement. This is really great because to achieve this, I used to put a lot of CSS and have the tabs either on the left, right or on the top or the bottom of the content. Also, if you check, there are responsive settings and you can do the settings for the breakpoint. So let us get back to the tabs and here it says drag widgets here and this is the window which will open a lot of options with the 3.10 version. So if you click on this plus sign, you'll get a lot of structure options and you must be familiar by now with the flex box container. So if we select any of the containers, we have the two child containers and a big container over here and we can simply select any of the elements and drag it simply in these boxes. So let me select the accordion then I can have the image course And in this large container, I will just drag the image box. Now similarly for the tab 2, I can simply select the containers. I will select this type of container and I can simply now drag any of the elements to these boxes. So I can have the Google map. And also, I'll put something like the progress bar over here. So this is fantastic that we can simply drag and drop the elements. And like we create the pages with Elementor, we can create the tabs now. So creating the templates for individual tabs 
and putting the short codes in the tab section is a little tedious and has no flexibility but here with the nested tabs you have all the flexibility and you can create any type of design with these nested tabs now let us check out the settings for these tabs button and if i click on the first tab button and i can go to the tabs items here i can of course name this tab as tab 1 i can add a icon from the icon library home icon for the first tab let me name this also as home and now i can also change the active icon to something like a, a smiley So whenever this tab is active, it will have a different icon. And if I select the other tab, now you will see the icon has changed to home. Similarly, you can change the icon and the active icon for tab 2 and tab 3 as well. So now if we scroll down, we have a few options that we already checked. For example, if I have these buttons on the top, I can keep these as center i can have it at the start i can have this at the end and also i can have these tabs justified with the content also i can align the text to left center or on the right so i'll keep it center let us now go to the styling for the tabs here you get the option to set the gap between the tabs like this and also the distance from the content so you can adjust the gap between the tabs and the distance from the content as per your requirement you can also change the background type border type and shadow for the normal hover and active tabs as per your requirement you can have a border of say 20 so that the tabs look circular you can also have some padding for the tabs. For the title also, you get all the usual options like you can change the typography, color, shadow and also you can have different settings for the normal, hover and active tabs. We have already seen how to use the icon for the tabs and here you get the options to do some settings for the icon like I can position the icon on the top right bottom or on the left you can also resize the icon and make it small or big you can have the spacing from the title and you can adjust the things as per your requirement so apart from this you can also duplicate the tabs and i will go to content and i will simply duplicate this tab so you have four tabs now. So this is how there is a lot of flexibility and a lot of options opening with the nested tabs. Though there are a few fine tunings required, this feature is going to be very much useful for the Elementor users. So hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing it and hit the bell icon so that you will get notifications for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and take care.